What is going on guys? Grave here today. We're going to talk about the patch notes that's coming out, of course, with the release of Giant Shadow. If you guys do not know, tomorrow, December the 13th, Giant Shadow will be available to people that pre-ordered the game and also people that have the season pass or the premium pass for Battlefield 1. How this works, if you pre-order it, of course, digitally, you will have it uh, on there, of course, if you pre-order digitally from like PlayStation or Xbox Store or, you know, either on PC also. And, of course, if you order from PlayStation or Xbox and you have the Deluxe Edition, uh, when you typed in that code that gave you some of the extra things you got in-game, that included the seven-day early access to uh, Giant Shadow. Of course, that early access ends on the 20th, and it will be released for everyone because it is a free map. We'll get into the patch notes, guys. This is a huge, huge patch. I'm going to link it all in the description below. I'm going to go over some of the high points because this is a lot of stuff going on, and there's a lot of info here, so I'm going to kind of just hit the things that are, are really important to a lot of you, I know, but there's still going to be some things that may be important to some of you that I did not go over, so I'm going to link it all, and it's going to take a while to go through, guys, because there's a lot of stuff, so let's get right into it. Uh, they're going to add a spectator mode, so if you're a fan of spectator mode, you will have that. They'll have a new custom game uh, called Standard Issue Rifles. What this means is whatever faction, whatever group you're playing as, whatever side you're on, you're going to have those Standard Issue Rifles. They would have during World War One, with no optics equipped. So it's going to be more of that true trench World War One experience. Uh, we're also going to get an option uh, for a ability to sprint in and out of crouch and prone, which is not there, so it's a little bit of some more advanced movement. While, while prone or while crouch, you can sprint out of those uh, instead of just being able to stand up and walk normally, you'll be able to sprint out of those positions. Uh, the aim assist has been toned down on console. They said the aim assist was too strong on console so that has been toned down some which i think is a great thing i really like that they have done that uh spawning uh not not spawning correctly when you spawn in a horse or tank you know you'd spawn up and you just have the kit and not have the vehicle or the horse that has been fixed um land ships have been buffed a little they said the land ship uh, with their stats the way they can look at the game the land ship is not being used pretty much at all compared to the light tank and the heavy tank so they have buffed the land ship and one thing they're going to do is uh, add the ability to spawn in the land ship off a, a friendly teammate or, you know, just somebody that's not even in your squad or whatever. Kind of like the heavy tanks. You can spawn in the land ship that way. Um, airships got a little bit different things. Not really technically the airship, but the uh, planes in general. Rocket velocity boost and a little bit of a buff to the MGs on some of the planes. The elite tank hunter uh, class got a little bit of a buff also with his rifle. He'll be able to do a little bit more damage, 150 and 180 to certain vehicles. The uh, plane uh, damage you can do with the tank hunter stayed the same. Um, uh, also, another thing the land ships had done to them was the damage now that the land ship takes is, or the damage that you know that you get with the, the land ship is the same as the heavy tank. So the land ship would be more of a viable thing to use. Uh, reduce the AA range, and a lot of you pilots out there will love to hear this, from 400 meters to 334 meters, which I think it will help. Like I've said before, I thought there were too many AA guns and too many places on the map. You could get just destroyed flying no matter where you were. Next thing we're going to talk about is uh, reduced uh, also the boat's torpedoes to kind of match what the behemoth, you know, the big ship, what is what is AA gun can reach, the range it can reach. So now you can't shoot outside the range of the behemoth if you're trying to blow down the boat with, you know, the, the torpedoes off of, you know, your boat I itself. Shotguns this is another thing I know a lot of you are going to be happy, happy about. The 10A, the M97 Trench, and the Sawed Off Shotgun got a reduced max one-shot kill range. Those guns were way overpowered, especially the 10A. So you will not be getting killed as quickly, or you should not be as quickly, uh, with that one-shot kill at a distance. Uh, LMGs are more consistent at close ranges. Also, another change they made uh, to the bayonets. Now you can charge the bayonet while reloading or if you're out of ammo. The Martini Henry was dealing too much damage to certain body parts at ranges that it should not have been. It's more on level with the sweet spots of the other sniper rifles. Guys, we have tons and tons and tons of reload and recoil decreases and increases, like the ability for some of the LMGs to cool down, some of their first shot recoil changes, and there's so many of those, I'm not going to go over each one of them in detail, so you can check those out, like I said, in the patch notes below. And last but not least, of course, there was stability and UI, uh, or, you know, UI fixes like always with these Battlefield patches. Guys, leave me a comment when you go over the notes itself and what you think about what I talked about in the video. Are you happy to see these things? I think they did a lot of good things for the game. 
I think it was a lot of the things that the community was talking about. And I think they listened, and I think they're going to put it in this patch. And it's going to be really, really good. I don't know the size of it yet. Of course, it does not come out till tomorrow. But anyway, guys, like I said, leave me a comment. Go over those patch notes yourself and see what you think. And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.